Thanks for joining me. Whiskey Hunter here back with you again. McAllen is one of my favorite distillers. I've enjoyed their whiskey for a good number of years and fell in love with the 18 when I tried it. Since then, I've searched out bottles of 18 year old, but I'm not talking about a hunt for an 18 year old today. I'm talking about something I came across a number of years ago on the internet, and that was a poster of some uh, advertising McAllen did, which I found out was in the 80s. Uh, it was uh, something I just had to have. And so I started searching for it and I checked, you know, Google, couldn't find anything. I found, well, one picture, but there was no place to get it. I checked in England, I checked in Scotland, in Australia, New Zealand called friends I knew and reached out to them all over the globe. No one, for the most part, had seen this uh, advertising and I couldn't find it. Um, I joined McC uh, McCallan Group on Facebook and um, there's enthusiasts from around the globe on there. And I threw the picture up that I found a couple years ago that I saved to my computer into this group. And I was asking, is if there's anybody that knows about it, please get hold of me. I've been searching high and low for this thing. I'd really, really like to have it. Well, uh, so a guy named Jody reached out to me and we started talking uh, and uh, we bet, befriended each other. He said he was going to see what he could do and help me to uh, see if he could locate that poster for me. So he, one day he sent me a message. He says, I think I may be able to help you. What's your address? So I gave him my address. About a week or two later, I received a package. And I opened the package. And in that package was the poster I was looking for for all these years. And, you know, I reached back out to him and said, how did you ever get this? Where did this come from? What can I send you? He wouldn't accept anything. He said, I wanted to help you out here. I go, where'd this come from? He said, off the wall in my distillery. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, I'm with McAllen and I didn't know that. Um, after we had been talking, uh, I just thought he was another member of the group. He says, no, I'm with McAllen. I go, what do you do there? He said, well, I'm the general manager. I said, the general manager of the McAllen? He goes, that's right, of the distillery. He told me he took this off the wall for me and sent it to me. It was, you know, uh, just up on a wall, not framed. The picture I've been looking for for years, an 80s advertising. When I got the picture and unwrapped it, on the back of the poster, this was a hard poster, was um, something rubber glued to it, um, another sheet. So I took this to a framer. And I, you know, of course, wanted to get this framed and ask them to remove what was ever on the back. So they did that for me. And this was glued on the back. Uh, this is another 80s McAllen's advertising that I haven't framed yet. That's just as rare as the one I had. And the front of this was gl rubber glued to the back of the poster. And uh, the, the framer got it off in basically perfect condition. So uh, I don't even think he knew this was on here. So thank you, Jody Marshall, General Manager of McAllen. That was very, very kind of you. And this is the framed picture. It says, take away the nectar and bring me a McAllen. And it's cherubs um, holding a 10-year McAllen mid to late, or late 80s, 10-year uh, McAllen. Great, great advertising. And I'm just so thrilled to have this. Uh, Framer did a great job, and here it is up on my wall. Thanks again, Jody. I'm going to review for you today a Royal Salute 21-year. This whiskey is what basically got me started in scotch. I used to be into cigars. I don't smoke anymore, but at one time I had a collection of cigars and I was introduced to the Royal Salute 21 year and I always drink that with a cigar. And for years, that's all I had in the house. That and a bottle or two of port to pair with the cigars. Well, 
Since then, I've always kept a bottle of Royal Salute 21 year open and one in the bunker. So when it runs out, I always have another one. I don't drink it weekly or sometimes monthly, but um, that's what got me started on my journey to scotch. Whatever you got start got you started on your journey, why don't you um, post it below in the comments? I'd love to know. So the Royal Salute 21 year comes in this beautiful um, velvet bag. And as it should, it was made for royalty. Let me uh, show you what the decanter looks like. This, all the bottles that they come in are porcelain and they come in different colors. It's a beautifully crafted bottle. This is the Sapphire Blue. It's 40% ABB. You know, porcelain, the thing about that, they don't make good decanters when they're done being used because they're porcelain and not glass and the corks don't always fit so well. So you may see some older decanters leaking. You gotta be careful when you buy old whiskey out of a porcelain decanter. 21 year Royal Salute. You can see it's embossed. Um, I forget who the uh, figure is on the front of it, but um, let's, uh, let's talk about it. I've had this poured a good 25 minutes, as I do on older whiskeys. Um, this glass that we're drinking out of is another find I came up with on Craigslist. This is a Baccarat Crystal. 1960s thistle glass. It's really a beautiful piece of stemware. It's a brandy glass, but it was so unique that uh, and, and an unbelievable bargain from an elderly couple that I had to have it. So I got a pair of them. The color. It's a deep am dark amber. Deep gold, beautiful. This is an elegant, elegant whiskey. It's a blended whiskey, which of course is the most popular selling kind of uh, scotch there is. It was uh, named after the 21 Gun Salute. Um, it's a malt and grain at 40%. It's a Speyside by Chevis Brothers at the Strath Isla Distillery which makes all of the uh, um, Chevis Brothers blends. This was launched on Mar uh, June 2nd, 1953 as a tribute to Queen Elizabeth II. And the bottle, oh, it's wonderful. The bottle comes in three different colors. Like I have sapphire blue, it comes in ruby red and emerald green. And these colors represent the jewels in the crown. And the whiskey said to be not 21 years old, but 22 to 40 year old whiskey that's put into this blend. And when you know this, you can tell you are trying something extremely rich. Let's talk about the nose. It's very smooth. It's uh, immediately sweetness uh, assaults your senses. Typically, you want to approach a whiskey slowly, especially with a higher ABV, so you don't uh, drop nose hairs in it. But this is only 40%. It's got no um, alcohol attacking uh, your nose. It's very floral. You get rose petals. Jasmine, um, it's like you're walking amongst blooming uh, flowers. You feel like you're in a flower shop. There's a very light hint of smoke. You've got to kind of search for it. There's honey, big honey note, and fruits. I can't really distinguish the individual fruits on the uh, nosing. They kind of... Uh, meld together. Let's uh, taste it on the palate. It's 
It's very velvety, very silky. It's an elegant dram. It's sweet. There's a uh, hazelnut. Jelly berry jam. Rose hip. Um, honey nut Cheerios. Ugh. With strawberries and cream. There's orchard fruits. I can pick up a little bit more of the individual fruits, maybe apples and pears. Nectarines. And there's a hint of herbal tea that I'm getting as well. Another taste. Those flavors just blend so well together. This is one of the better malted or uh, uh, blended whiskeys you're going to try. It's not inexpensive. It runs around $175 to $200. It's been pretty consistent in the pricing over the last number of years. It hasn't jumped like a lot of single malts have. It's not an inexpensive blend. This would certainly make an unbelievable gift to somebody either as a beginner into the world of whiskey or a seasoned um, palate of whiskey. Both are going to enjoy this immensely. The finish is warming. It's very balanced. I think it's a medium kind of finish. It doesn't last real long. That sweetness is there, but it's fading. The smoke is uh, trailing far, far behind. That's it from the Whiskey Hunter today. Hope you enjoyed joining me next week or next video. We'll talk about another hunt and review another whiskey. Cheers.